It's the Pound Puppies! Here's Cooler, Whopper, Nose Marie, Bright Eyes, and Owler! You know that little old story isn't true. No, it is all true, uh, except for the facts. Whopper, you gotta cool your jets on those tall tails. I do declare, Whopper, if you were Pinocchio, your nose would stretch from here to Kalamazoo. Lunchtime, puppies! Come in! Get it. May I take your order, please? Uh, yes, I'll have the uh, pepperoni pizza flambe. Give me the animal crackers jubilee. And make mine the black-eyed homily pan dotted grits and poke salad peas. You're all having dog food like you do every day. We just bought a year's supply. <gasps> it's gone! The dog food! It's all gone! Okay, who raided the pantry last night? I opened the door and the cupboard was bare! And so the poor doggies got none? Oh, the old Mother Hubbard gag. <laughs> Cooler, this is no joke. Don't worry, Holly. Everything will be fine. Yeah, we can buy some more food. Yeah, we'll buy tons of it. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't. I spent every last penny on that food. All the puppies will starve. Starve? Little old me? No, I won't make it. I have a delicate constitution. Food. Food. Food! Oh, I do hope you'll all remember this scene during Academy Award time. How are we ever going to get the money to replace that dog food? I know how. We can get the money from my brother and my cousin. No, my, my rich uncle. Yeah, that's it. Whopper, this is no time for one of your goofy fibs. This is serious. But no, it's no fib. My Uncle J.R. Whopper is the richest dog in Texas, and he's got millions in gold. Uh, no, I mean oil. Yeah, that's right, oil. Turn that thing off, Whopper. But it's all true, and he's coming here to visit. Honest. Mm-hmm, sure. And the moon is made out of green cheese. That's right. The moon is made out of green cheese. My uncle, he took me there on his jet. No, his rocket ship, yeah. In fact, he owns the moon. Really? Why won't anyone believe me? <laughs> Holly, we'll never find a precious dog food. We'll starve out those mutts once and for all. We're gonna starve the puppies. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna starve the puppies. <laughs> that should just about sew up my election. Just think, me 
me, Katrina Stoneheart, president of the Dog Haters of America. Katrina Stoneheart wants your vote because she hates dogs a bunch. If you make her president, she'll even buy you lunch. Oh, that's very clever, dear. Now, come along. We don't want to be late for the Dog Haters convention. When they hear that I finally gave those puppies the boot, I'll be a shoe-in. <laughs> <laughs> With no food and no money, I'll have to close down the pound. Don't worry, everybody. We'll get by without money or food. We can live on love. <laughs> How's that sound to you, cooler, honey? D I'd rather have some loose change in a bologna sandwich. Thank you very much. Bye, Holly. We're going to the Dog Haters Convention. Yeah. And we won't be back until late tonight. So I'll try to hold yourself up before we get back. Aren't we the mean ones, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I weren't so terribly ladylike, I'd give Katrina's ankle bone a severe nibbling. Sounds like a hologram. It's for Whopper. Dear nephew, stop. I'm stopping by Puppy Pound today for a brief stop. Stop. Your uncle, J.R. Whopper. Stop. 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 Your rich uncle is coming. I knew you were telling the truth. Whopper, you're a lifesaver. We can borrow all the money we need from your uncle. Well, uh, <clears throat> there, there is one teeny weeny problem. <clears throat> I, uh, sort of, uh, kind of told Uncle J.R. a few little leancy weensy fibs. Like, like what? what? Like a mazillionaire live in a mansion and own the puppy pound. Oh, is that all? Like, y you what? Whopper, we told you your tall tales would get you into trouble. We'll just have to explain to your uncle. Oh, no. Uh, you, you don't know Uncle J.R. He, he hates for anyone to lie to him. He's funny that way. If Whopper's uncle finds out he was fibbing, he'll never give us the money. Cool it, campers. Who says old JR has to find out? Huh? I got a bright idea. You've also got a light bulb over your head, honey. I do? Gee, this idea must be better than I thought. <laughs> Whopper's gonna impress his uncle with his palatial mansion. What palatial mansion? Why yonder palatial mansion? Aunt Katrina's house? We'll never get away with it. Katrina's away for the day. What could possibly go wrong? This isn't going to work, Cooler Honey. We'll never convince Uncle JR that Lil Whopper is rich. Hey, come on, Nose Marie. Trust me. Yeah, this is going to go like clockwork. Whopper, I do believe there's a little old cuckoo in your clock. Oh my gosh, he's here! Yeehaw! GR! I say GR Whopper has just rolled into town! <clears throat> Welcome to the Whopper estate, sir. Little Whopper! I know my kinfolk anywheres! But Uncle JR! Go away, son. Can't you see I say, can't you see I'm saying howdy to my favorite nephew? Uh, begging your pardon, sir, but I'm Jeeves, the butler. I'm your nephew, Uncle J.R. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. I'll say, of course, you are. With relatives like this guy, who needs relatives? Whopper, I remember when you was knee-high to a knucklebone. Uh, say, you still are. <laughs> well, I'll be a hog in slop. Who's this pretty little thing? Uh, this is my friend, uh, my fiance, yeah, uh, Scarlett O'Harry. Charmed, I say charmed, I am sure. <laughs> I've always depended on the kindness of strangers, especially rich ones. Oh, I like this one, she's got spunk. And may I present our visitors from the continent, uh, Count and Countess Von Bowser. Where? Uh, who? Uh, me? me? Oh, right. And this is my pet human, uh, Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy, go fetch your slippers for me to chew on, yeah. Okay, but if I have to wear a flea collar, I quit. Come on, Unc. Let me show you the rest of my mansion. All 12, uh, 1,200 rooms. 
<laughs> Y'all ought to see my ranch in Texas. I got me a whole stable full of them uh, pet humans. Uh, difficult, I say, difficult to train. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow dog haters, if elected as your president, I promise to hate all dogs, regardless of race, color, or breed. I despise dogs. I loathe them. I hate their wet noses, their furry feet, their cute wagging tails. They make me sick. And let me just say this. You will never see me pet a dog or feed a dog. And above all, you will never, ever find a dog in my house. This is a mighty fine house you own, Whopper. Yeah, and uh, this is just the servants' quarters. Uh, this table's dusty, Jeeves. Oh, I'll <coughs> have it destroyed immediately, sir. <coughs> And this is the billiard parlor. I didn't know you played pool, nephew. Oh, sure. All us rich dogs play pool. Uh, set up the pins, Jeezy. I want to punt a hole in one. Try not to break any windows, sir. 43, 87, 62. Hike! Duck, sir. <laughs> fancy. I say fancy shooting, nephew. Oh, I, I picked up that shot from the Minnesota Cats. Yeah, that's right, Minnesota Cats. Did y'all say cats? Why, well, I'm scared to death of the confounded creatures. Won't stay a cotton-picking minute in a house with cats. Y'all don't have any cats, do you? <coughs> what, I say? What was that? Uh, just me, sir. I, uh, I have a bit of a cold. Yeah, <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to go find a tissue. That sneeze! I say that sneeze of his sounded an awful lot like a cat to me. Bad news, guys. Cat guts in the house. We, we know, know! We know! know. <laughs> How's about showing me the rest of the premises, nephew? If JR sees a cat in here, he won't give us one red cent. We'll starve! They're coming! We gotta get this little old feline under wraps fast. A wire, a wire! What? I say, what became of those friends of yours, Whopper? Oh, there they are! The Count Van Bowser is honoring us with a recital. Sounds pretty. Where'd that little uh, southern gal get to? Yoo-hoo! Over here! I just can't sit still with this music playing. I told you that little lady had spunk! <laughs> the sacrifices I make for the puppy pound. Ooh, she put some fire under that fiddle boy. This little lady's a hankering for a whole down. are all in, and the new president of the Dog Haters of America is Katrina Stoneheart! Here's ten dollars for your vote, and ten for yours. Thank you very much. And here's ten for yours. She's a grand old hag. She's a dog-hating hag. She's Katrina, the prize of the day. She's the leader of the club that we love. Dog haters of the U.S. of A. Katrina's around and there won't be a tail to wag. Should all the pompies be destroyed, keep your eye on that grand old hag. Yeah! Ooh, doggies, this gal just don't wear out. Well, I could dance like this all night, sugar. <laughs> Wapa, you have got to find another way to entertain your uncle. 
We better get him out of here before Kafka gets loose. No problem. Say, Uncle, um, just say we blow this joint. We could go to my, uh, my nightclub. Yeah, that's it. Wow, what are you little scalawag? You didn't tell me you owned a nightclub. He didn't tell us either. Yeah! Well, then, let's get to it, boy. We'll paint the town red. Then pardon me while I change into something more comfortable. This petticoat is getting awfully uh, scratchy. <laughs> that room is occupied. But Cooler, where are we going to get a nightclub? Don't ask questions. Just bring JR to this address in half an hour. This is the address of the Burke and Growl Cafe! That's the most nastiest place in town! Kakakula, this isn't a nightclub, it's a nightmare! Hey, trust me, Howler. All I need is five minutes and a can of paint. <laughs> and a good life insurance policy. to be in show business. I have to admit it, nephew. You won't find anything like this in Texas. And I thought you wouldn't have found anything like this here. Ah, Mansour Whopper. Your usual table will be ready to the sweetie. Yowza, yowza, yowza! We have a special guest with us tonight, all the way from Texas, that multi-millionaire and great guy, J.R. Whopper! <laughs> You're all too kind. And here to serenade him is our very own chanteuse, Miss Scarlett O'Hare. A millionaire in Texas, the only dogs for me. They're real tootin' cowboys, as rich as they can be. Oh, their oil wells bring in zillions, and they give to charity. Here's the millionaires of Texas, are the only dogs for me. Well, I'm touched, little Wampa, but uh, <clears throat> I need to uh, discuss an important matter with you. Is it about money? Uh, why, as a matter of fact, I see, as a matter of fact, it is. Good. Come on, Uncle. We'll talk it over back at my mansion. They better talk fast. Katrina's due back at the house any time. This has been the most thrilling night of my life. Exactly when do I assume office as president of the Dog Haters of America? As soon as your home passes our little inspection, Miss Stonehart. We have to make sure you don't own any... dogs. Oh, 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 don't be ridiculous. Why, I've never even had a dog in my house. <clears throat> and uh, now, nephew, about that little uh, money matter. Our dog food problem is solved. Yeah, with JR's millions, we'll be on Easy Street. <gasps> it's Auntie Katrina! There goes the neighborhood. Well, nephew, as I was saying, I think the time is right for the transfer of some of the Whopper millions. Hooray! The pound is saved! But the party's over. Ah! Oh! oh! Dogs! Dogs! Oh! Holly, what are these filthy mops doing in my house? Her house? Uh, I can explain, up. Yes, I gotta hear. It's all some sort of terrible mistake. I, 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 I can explain. You are hereby under suspicion of being a dog lover. But, but it's not true. I hate dogs. Uh -huh. It's her. She's the dog lover. Goody, goody, Holly. It's true. I am a dog lover. <gasps> and everything Auntie Katrina does makes me love dogs even more. No, she didn't mean it that way. This is a frame-up! Uh -huh. I'll show you how much I hate dogs. Just wait till I get my hands on one! Quick, we can hide in the closet. 
whopper. I see what in Sam Hill is going on around here. I demand, I say, I demand an explanation. Whopper, don't you have something to tell your uncle? Okay, here it is, the truth. I was on this pirate ship in Borneo, see, and I... Whopper? All right. I'm not a zillionaire. I'm not even a millionaire. I don't even have a nick... Uh, a penny. Yeah, that's right, not even a penny. And, and this isn't my house either. Yeah, that's it. I'm just a puppy who lives in the pound. Land sakes. He even sounds like he's fibbing when he's telling the truth. You mean y'all are trying to bamboozle me? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that don't be all, and here I was a-fixin' to bamboozle you. I guess fibbin' runs in the family. Huh? Why, well, I'm no Texas oil tycoon. I'm nothing but a flat-busted hound dog. <laughs> you may be low on funds, Whopper, but with friends like yourn, you're the wealthiest pup in town. He's right, Whopper. As long as we all stick together, we'll find some way to put food on the table. <laughs> Speaking of food, there's a distinct aroma of kibble in this closet. Well, shut my mouth wide open. Oh, it's our missing dog food. <laughs> Aha! They're in here. I'll show you what kind of a dog hater I am. Shocking! Not only do you have pet dogs running around your house, but you keep enough dog food on hand to feed a hundred dogs. No! Stop it! Get away! Ah! Ah! Miss Stoneheart, you can forget ever being president of the dog haters of America. Goodbye! Auntie Katrina, so it was you who stole the puppy's food. That was a mean, terrible, awful thing to do. At least somebody appreciates me. It was great visiting with you, Uncle JR. Same goes for me, nephew. And you didn't have to pretend you was rich to impress me. Why, shucks, what y'all did is worth more than money. You and your friends got me adopted. It was the least we could do. After spending my life as a rambling rover, I'm finally gonna have me a home. Looks like you're gonna get a ride back to Texas. Back to Texas? Well, I've never been there in my life. I'm really from Milwaukee. Oof! I say oof, oof, oof. This is the happy ending. There's no more show to see. JR was adopted and he found a family. And Whopper learned that honesty is better than a lie. I'll never ever lie again. Cross my heart. The Pow Puppy Pet Care Corner. A wild animal like this raccoon sure looks cute when you see it in the forest or in your neighborhood. But that doesn't mean it'll make a good pet. This little guy needs his freedom. He'll cause trouble if you try to keep him at home. There are lots of animals that make good pets. So leave these wild animals in the wild where they belong. Thank you. 